Are you worried about your high electricity bill and you want to reduce it anyhow? If this is so, you are at the right place. Do watch this entire video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Hello friends, I am Pratik. If you are looking for any power saving devices or any other unofficial way to reduce your electricity bill, then I would like to tell you in advance that this is not going to work. So today we are going to talk about top 20 power saving tips in order to reduce your electricity consumption. And that too without using any power saving devices or any other unofficial way. It is possible that initially you may need to have some initial investment, but ultimately this is going to bring you a permanent solution. There are many points covered here which all of us might be knowing, but when we had to follow it, we were not able to. Now quickly without wasting your time, one by one we would start with all these tips. Tip number one is switch off light and fans when not in use. Obviously we all know this thing, but here I would like to explain you this thing in detail. Our normal tube light consumes one unit of electricity every 20 hours and fan consumes one unit every 10 hours. So now you can understand why it is important to switch off lights and fan when not in use. Because the uh, rate of one unit of electricity is about 8 to 12 rupees. Then tip number two is use skylight till it's possible. This is too related to our first tip. We should try and use natural light till it's possible and avoid tube lights in our houses. Because now we all know how much power is consumed by any tube light. And this is why we are giving importance to the natural skylight. Then tip number three is use solar water heater. In order to reduce the consumption of coal and petroleum products, government is even providing subsidies on solar water heater. But this is not the thing what I am going to highlight over here. What I mean to say is a normal 3 liter of geyser consumes 1 unit of electricity every 15 minutes. And this is definitely going to boost your electricity bill at the end of the month. So we should always prefer a solar water heater. Then tip number 4 is use energy efficient appliances, LED lights and LED TV. With the evolving technology and continuous research, there are numerous power saving and energy efficient appliances available in the market. And using this energy efficient devices, we can save electricity up to 50%. Like uh, we can replace normal tube lights with LED lights, then old television sets what were available uh, consumes one unit of electricity every half an hour. While if we talk about an LED TV, it consumes one unit of electricity every three hours. So this becomes a very huge difference, it's almost uh, six times. And uh, so AC, fridge and all such appliances should be used uh, which has more number of stars, which are more energy efficient. So having this awareness is very significant. Then tip number 5 is, roof garden can reduce the burden on an air conditioner. As we all know, air conditioner is solely responsible for boosting your electricity bill. So we need to try and reduce its usage. Due to direct sunlight on the roof, whether it may be RCC or any other material, it will absorb the heat and keep releasing it. And this will keep our temperature inside the house very high and ultimately we'll use more AC. And to avoid this uh, direct sunlight on the RCC roof, we can use this technique terrace gardening. Here we can plant vegetables, fruits, flowers, etc. And this can become another advantage where we can use terrace as a garden also. Then our tip number six is use washing machine at full load. In any washing machine using water, Impeller spins our clothes in order to rub with each other and using friction it removes the dirt and this is how it will clean our clothes. Now it doesn't matter whether we fill the machine half or full. It consumes the same amount of energy and it is even more preferable to fill the washing machine with full load to get more friction within. And so in order to reduce your electricity bill we should always use our washing machine with the full load. The next point is use cold water for rinsing in washing machine. Due to some misconception, people are using hot water even in washing machine to wash our clothes. But if we use normal water, the fabric also will be maintained and the color will also not be faded. And so we should always use normal water in sink of the clothes in washing machine and should not waste electricity in heating up of the water. Eighth is, do not keep fridge door open for a longer time. There is a thermometer in every refrigerator which continuously measures the inner temperature in any refrigerator. Every time when we open the door, warm air from outside moves inside. Due to this, the cutout starts to maintain the temperature. And this is why we should open the refrigerator door for a minimum time interval. Because normally with the closed doors, every refrigerator consumes about half a unit. And now you might understand why opening up of the fridge door more frequently is not preferable. Next is, refrigerator with freezer at bottom are not efficient. In any closed container, the chilled air is very heavy, it is very dense. So it always remains on the bottom side of the container, closed container what I am talking about. So if we are using a fridge with uh, freezer at its bottom, 
the chilled dense air would remain at its bottom and this is how our uh, fridge would work efficiently the next is keep refrigerator little away from the walls for a better air circulation in any refrigerator condenser is always provided on the back side of the fridge due to this there should be some space left between the walls and the fridge obviously in order to have some better air circulation and let it work efficiently with minimum power consumption and this will also let your refrigerator work more efficiently with a better performance for this at least 1.5 inch space should be left between the wall and the condenser in our fridge then next is defrost the fridge regularly in any refrigerator after some time ice starts to accumulate in the freezer this should be removed else your uh, fridge might start to smell and this may even uh, affect its performance and so it becomes very necessary to defrost your fridge at some regular intervals then next uh, point is avoid putting hot items directly in the fridge putting hot items directly in fridge may not only promote the bacterial growth but also might uh, create an imbalance in the internal temperature inside your fridge and this imbalance in the temperature might affect the efficiency of your fridge so we should avoid putting hot items directly in the fridge then tip number 13 is front loading washing machines are more efficient uh front loaded washing machines are designed in such a way that it consumes the same power as consumed in top loaded uh, washing machines but it washes our clothes quickly and saves uh, power in this way so these are more efficient the next tip here is height of the exhaust fan should be more than the fan height in a room if a normal fan and exhaust fan both of these are given the height of the exhaust fan should be more than the height of the normal fan this is because warmer the air lesser will be the density in this way a uh, warmer air will get a path to escape from the exhaust fan and would not be circulated again through the fan in this way it will give us a minimum usage of ac and ultimately save power next point is always use auto cut off type electric iron electric iron generally used should be of auto cut off type which may sense the heat and automatically may trips the cut off because an auto cut off type electric iron may consume one unit in one hour while a normal electric iron may consume two units in one hour so this is almost double then tip number 16 is use fan with air conditioner while using air conditioner we should switch on fan at very low speed this is because even if we keep air conditioner very slow the slowly rotating fan would circulate evenly this chilled air in the entire room here if you are habituated to keep ac at about 24 degrees then here you will require 26 degrees this will be the difference and in this way it will affect our power consumption so always use fan at a very low speed along with ac then tip number 17 is uh, laptop consumes less power than desktop because our desktop uses ac power and our laptop uses dc so desktop consumes 10 times more electricity 10 times more wattage as compared to that of the laptop so we should always go with this laptop the 18th point is scanners printers tv and all the unused devices should be kept off until needed So all these devices like scanner, printer, TV, etc. When these are not in use, its power supply should be off and not in the sleep mode. Because in sleep mode also, these are the type of devices which uh, continuously consumes your electricity. So this is a very important point. The 19th tip here is wet grinding is faster than dry grinding. In a mixer machine, if you are grinding wet instead of dry, you would end up early, and ultimately this will affect your power consumption, and uh, mixer will be also used less. And uh, last tip to reduce the power consumption here is tip number 20 use electronic regulator for fan in order to control the fan speed an electronic regulator gets heated and controls the voltage and in this way it saves our power and it becomes a power saving regulator actually so for power savings don't go for a normal regulator so friends uh, this is all for today i hope this video was useful for you and if this is so just click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel civil engineering forum This is all for today. Thank you for watching.